Hey YouTube, it's me Brandy. I'm hopping on today and I am doing a shark air styler review with you guys. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this. I came on wet haired. I'm going to show you what this thing can do. You guys, I love it. I just want to start off by sharing with you guys right away. I was so torn between this and the Dyson. I wanted the Dyson so badly, but I have to be really honest with you guys. When you look at how I style my hair normally, and that is my total comfort zone, I was really like, do I really need the Dyson with how much it is? I wanted the Dyson. I went back and forth. I even got my husband involved. My husband's like, get one off of, get one off of, what's it called? Facebook Marketplace. And I actually had an appointment set up with to meet someone and it fell through. And I went ahead and ordered the shark because it is almost $300 cheaper. And based on the reviews, you guys, a lot of people say that it does comparable work. I don't know. I don't know. I did a video on the Dyson. You can check it out here of why you would buy a Dyson. You guys, when I do my YouTube research, I go through the comments of everybody's video and I find out what people are missing in information and then hopefully I can educate you guys and share some things that are missing when you guys buy your products. You guys know I worked behind the chair for 13 years as a hairstylist, 100% loved it, such a dream job. And now I work 100% online and I share everything. And I just wanna share right away the number one reason why you would even get an air styler versus ditching your curling irons for good is if you guys are a volume junkie, okay? This is the number one thing that I seen the problems the women were having in the comments is they were like, Brandy, they didn't say Brandy. <laughs> they said, this does not curl, this does not hold curl, okay? So when I sat, sat there and looked at it, I was like, okay, the number one thing that an air styler is going to do for you as a person is it's gonna give you volume. We just know that from the hair salon. Blowouts are big voluminous hair. Air lifts the cuticle or expands the cuticle. So it the cuticle kind of goes like this and the hair sits fuller. That's what blow dries do. That's what air, air stylers do is they really go in and really open or blow out that cuticle and the hair just gets bigger. So if you have problems with holding curl, I will get to that further in the video. I kind of want to dive right in and share with you what I got the air styler option with the smallest barrel. So I want to mention that because I do like curls. So I got two of these. I got, they come with a right and a left. So you have to swap them out during your style. That's a disadvantage for a lot of people. Okay, so I bought the smallest air styler for that reason. I wanna show you this. So here's some different switches on here. That's how we move this down and that turns into the actual blow dryer portion. I will tell you that I think a more traditional blow dryer actually like expands the hair more. This is like a really focused blow. So if you have a blow brush or you're someone that blows out your hair with a brush, um, so a lot of people will style their hair with a brush and then they'll kind of, this is a very large brush. So this is the other complaint that I have because this really, it reminds me of the problem that I had with, um, it reminds me of the problem I had with what is, it's the yellow air styler brush, blow brush. It was such a big, it was so big and I don't like it so big because I like curls in my hair. When you like get big brushes like this, you, they're more for smoothing and I just, I want the curl. So that's why I ended up with the smallest air styler. So look how big of a difference that is. That's my only complaint about how big this brush is. It's too big. Um, but that's, it's not too big for everyone. There's a ton of women that have really long hair and they want a really nice smooth blowout. And I'm one of those people that doesn't use a flat iron either. So I am a big bombshell blowout kind of woman. Okay, I like big hair. So you guys can see. And I will switch this around. So I'm gonna switch it up. So it has that arm. And then you can go in and blow, blow, and brush. Okay, because I'm I am gonna do a style on here, but it's gonna be my curtain bang, because I'm a curtain bang queen. Okay. And I love big hair. So 
This wasn't the best choice for me. Didn't love that, but I absolutely loved how tiny these were. So that really solves that problem for me, you guys. Okay, so I showed you those. Then it also comes with a super director and let me unlock you, unlock your thing. And then you put that on. And this is also really great for women that use brushes while they're below drying their hair. And I'm gonna swivel that and I'll kind of show you, you know, you'll be able to take your brush and you'll be able to just really direct that style and that hair with the air. The other complaint that I read a ton about with um, the shark dryer was how loud it was. It is very loud. I totally agree with that. So I'm gonna go in. I showed you all the parts that I got. You can order more parts on Shark and really individualize your order. I did, and that is one of the reasons why I really wanted the small, these small ones because I like the big hair, which you're gonna see in this video. I'm gonna do a style with you guys, and I ordered clips from them too. I personally am also going to go in and show you guys how I do the curtain bang. So this is kind of like a curtain bang hairstyle because I love the curtain bang. I love big hair. So that's why I bought the air styler. I want you guys to think about that when you're considering the Dyson, you're considering the shark, you're considering an air styler. Just keep in mind when you're considering an air styler that they are for volume looks. So if you're really wanting to keep those curls in your hair, those tight curls, just like I had showed you guys how I wear my hair most of the time, it's tight curls. So I just, I logically knew that this isn't going to be for that kind of hairstyle and that kind of hairstyle, I will just stick to my curling iron. So, um, okay, let's get into this. I'm gonna start back here. You guys can see like it grab on. I'm gonna start in the back. I kind of folded some of that up just to kind of help it. I have a lot of layers up there. So I'm gonna come over here so you guys can see. And I'm kind of looking away from the camera just so I can get the curl right. While this is spraying, I'm gonna spray it. It's my favorite wet hairspray, and it's just going to really lock in that curl at the root because I think air stylers are for volume, and they just really lock that curl in, and I'm just going to move it a little bit to kind of relax it, release it, and you guys will see that huge curl right there, and I'm actually going to go in, and I'm going to pin mine. So you guys can kind of see, it's gonna sit up there and it's gonna set up. Well, I move on to the next section. Yes, this does take a little bit more time, but do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. I'm going to be shooting for social media today. So I really want those bouncy voluminous curls that this can do that a curling iron just cannot. So that's one of the things that I just want to emphasize. A curling iron cannot produce that kind of volume. It just can't. Okay, let's do this next spot. So I'm kind of smoothing it out with my brush. I'm gonna bring this in. I'm going to turn it on. I have to kind of look up just so I can see where I'm at. Just grab down here. So I got that next section in. I'm going to kind of move it around a little bit and this kind of just really dries it really well. And I'll show you guys from the side when I drop it out. And it did take some work to get that section in. And then here I am spraying with my wet spray. And that just gives it a super hold. 
because I want that volume for the curtain bang. And you guys can see that solid, huge curl. Like, huge. Last section. I am going to keep it on and kind of brush this out because I want it super smooth. And I'm going to pin those while I do the rest. You kind of just got to get it right so it will grab. And I'll probably do these separate ones. They didn't quite grab. And I'm going to pin these because I care about these ones a lot. I want these to be really big for my video. Because I really think air stylers are for a volume style. That's what they can do that a curling iron just cannot. You're going to get that volume right here. And... I'm going to release, and it's just so huge, you guys. Okay, let's keep going. So it's just grabbing these little sections. These are all pins, so they are not going anywhere. And I'm just going to let that set up. It's grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. I have a curtain bang, so keep that in mind. I have tons of layers right here. And that just really is unable to have a lot of volume with the curtain bang. I know they're scary, but, and I didn't really like mine at first. It's just now at this stage where I'm completely in love with it. And that is one thing I will say about air styling is it's one of those things where it does have to grab on. Like, I can't go physically put it on. Like, you guys have seen me try to do in this video numerous times. Look how, just look at those curls. And they're huge, voluminous curls. And like I was telling you, if you're really wanting to maintain that volume, I would go in and I would pin everything. And especially these pink pieces around your face, pin them up. I'm not going to pin them just because of time. I did pin the top ones because I'm making a short and I just have to get the point across very quickly of what the air styler can do. And I'm gonna just do this whole side of my head with you on camera. You guys can see it's like in these perfect curls. Another thing you can do is kind of work it in and out just to get it really dry. I have hair extensions down here, so I'm not going to mess too much with it. Because like I said, I have a lot of layers. So it will only kind of grab certain pieces. Whereas with the curling iron, I'm able to kind of grab and put everything on. But like I said, with a curling iron, there's just no way to achieve this kind of volume. I forgot what, where my lens is at. I'm sorry, you guys, but I have to switch my camera around that. Because now we have to film everything in short form, and then we have to film it in long form. It in long form and I've been a content creator for five years, and social media is always changing. So you have to, like, change what you do all the time just so you can get your content seen. So... It's wild out there, you guys. Thank you for being here. Make sure you click subscribe. And then I'm gonna do this one last one right here. There's a straight piece in there. Where'd she go? There's one right there too. So I'm gonna kind of pull this up because it will grab easier when it's out of the other curls. And this one right here, right here needs it. And I'm gonna do this full side with you guys. There it goes. It grabs, and now it's grabbing more, which is great. It's getting drier, so when the drier it gets, the more it will grab. And then I'm going to have to finish this side, and then the one thing I don't like about this is that I have to Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do this long piece. It will grab. And then you kind of have to like work it around. See, and then my other long pieces, that's my natural hair. So I'll kind of have to go in and grab that. So I kind of move it around and tap it just a little bit so it stays loose. 
That's just what I do. That's my hair extensions right there. This is all my natural hair. I have tons of natural hair. It's just, I like that little bit of length at the bottom. And I am going, if I had pins, if I had enough pins, I would be pinning all of this. And personally, if you want that bombshell blowout look, you should be pinning everything and keeping it up as long as you possibly can. And then the style is going to last even longer. I'm going to link the perfect pins in the comments because the shark pins are just absolutely too big. So you guys can kind of see that's that done side. I haven't released, oh, my camera today. I haven't released the top one because I'm not going to release that until I film my short because I'm going for a shock value today. <gasps> YouTube loves shock in the thumbnail. As you can tell, I pulled these ones forward and I just kind of want to share a little tip with you guys. When you actually bring the curl forward, which is kind of counter to what you think, and I, I could have done it on this one too because it looks really good, is when you actually go to pull it back, which is what I do because I keep all my hair off of my face, one thing that it does is it just creates this massive amount of volume. I'm going to let these set up while I finish drying this side so I can kind of show you guys from far away. And I'm going to brush everything out with you because we're going to have Dolly Parton hair when we're done. And we're going to have the bombshell blow out. Okay, I just took my pins out. There are these huge barrel curls up here. They're so voluminous. And I'm just going to let this sit up. I kind of crunch it a little bit because I want to keep that bombshell look for my pictures and I am obsessed love it love it love it what do you guys think it's just this volume that just cannot be done with a curling iron it just cannot I don't care what anybody says and the volume is coming from the inner part of the hair and this can get so much huger you guys if you were to mess with it if you were to use other volumizing puffing spray, it's just so gorgeous. Um, and, you know, my thumbnail is just going to be off the chain this time because, you know, it's going to just have that shock value. You guys, make sure you click subscribe. Let me know any questions that you have about the air stylers in the comments because I actually would like to sit down and do a blowout every single week with you guys and walk you through tons of your favorite products. For the hair, that's how much I love this air styler because I love the bombshell blowout. Please hit subscribe. Let me know any questions you have so we can do a follow-up. Get ready with me together. I love it. Bye, guys.